The royal family spent a lot of time preparing for the crown's fifth season to premiere on Netflix, but in all honesty, King Charles was only given a very light-handed representation. Along with showcasing Charles' charitable activities and without really criticizing him for his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, The Crown also featured Dominic West's uncannily attractive and captivating portrayal of Charles. Keep watching this video to find out how King Charles really feels about The Crown. Why King Charles Might Have Reservations Although he worries that the Netflix generation might not be able to tell fact from fiction, King Charles doesn't seem to be all that concerned about the show after all. A worry that seems largely unjustified given that Twitter had no problem pointing out the historical inaccuracy of Dominic West's portrayals of Charles, but whatever. Certainly, The Crown, along with the imminent release of Prince Harry's biography, have been bumps in the road for the start of the King's reign. Royal expert Katie Nischel told Entertainment Tonight, but nothing that he's not been able to overcome. I think, in the case of The Crown, I think the concern, certainly by the King, is that the younger generation, the Netflix generation, may well tune into the series and not be able to distinguish fact from fiction, and perhaps may base their opinion of Charles based on his past and what they've seen represented in The Crown. The beginning of his reign may be overshadowed by the phantom of his past, and of course, at times, a rather stormy and unpleasant past, according to sources close to The King, according to Nishol. And the crown, in my opinion, merely proves that those worries weren't entirely unwarranted. Having said that, Nishol added that Charles most likely came out of this situation pretty undamaged. The palace has declined to comment on the most recent season of the crown, and has stated that they will not be participating in any manner. Nishol continues by saying that the program hasn't. I'm sure he'd prefer to be able to leave the past where it belongs, as people can escape their 25-year-old history, but not when they're the king. When he was the Prince of Wales, she adds, despite the fact that he's done a huge amount of damage. He has more documentation than any previous heir apparent did. He's probably grown accustomed to it at this point and is less likely to pay it any attention, but I still believe he's frustrated. Are shows like these given licenses? The King is believed to have been one of the few members of the royal family to watch the contentious Netflix series, but he is said to have stopped viewing after sensitive incidents from his relationship with the late Princess Diana were played out on screen. Season 4 focused on the 1980s, during which Charles wed Diana in 1981, welcomed their two sons in 1982 and 1984, and finally had an affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, who had been a close friend for years. This undoubtedly caused problems in their marriage. The fifth season, which debuted this week, covers the 1990s, during which the Wales's marriage ultimately failed resulting in their separation in 1992 and eventual divorce in 1996. Katie Nischel, a royal specialist, said to True Royalty TV that she inquired about the royal family's interest in the crown while conducting research for her most recent book, The New Royals. While other members of the royal family have viewed episodes, she claimed that the queen was totally aware of these shows and films and was never going to watch any of those herself. I'm informed that Camilla has seen every one of them. I'll have to get back to you on whether she's watched this most recent series or not. Charles started watching it and stopped watching it at the end because he thought it got too personal. Harry seems to have seen it without a doubt, based on his responses, but I'm not sure about William. Naturally, Harry and Meghan Markle have a multi-million dollar deal with the streaming service to create content. Early in the year, a docuseries on the couple's lives would be released. Lady Diana's interview with BBC Panorama. According to the Daily Express, the Crown created a fictionalized account of Princess Diana's interview with BBC Panorama, which has received the greatest criticism. The 1995 interview was later determined to have violated integrity standards after it was out that journalist Martin Bashir had faked paperwork to get access to the then Princess of Wales. Season 5 depicts the preparations for the interview. The actual interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others, Williams said in 2021. It is my firm view that this panorama program holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again. It effectively established a false narrative which, for over a quarter of a century, has been commercialized by the BBC and others. Television Wars But lest we forget, it was Charles who started the Diana Charles televised feud. The 1994 Jonathan Dimbley interview, which is also included in The Crown, was recorded the year before. We wondered how the real royal family felt about the drama after the fifth season of the Netflix series sparked so much controversy. It turns out that the House of Windsor is filled with spectators. The fictitious account of the late Queen Elizabeth II's reign has been avoided by some members of the royal family, including Prince William and his late grandfather Prince Philip, while others openly admit to viewing the acclaimed series. For instance, Prince Harry mentioned that The Crown gives viewers a glimpse into what royal life is actually like in a 2021 visit on James Corden's The Late Late Show. It's fictional, he said, but it's loosely based on the truth. 